Hello everyone, my name is Ronel F. Alcotila presenting uh, the teacher's intervention in improving numeracy skills of grade 7 students in Baguio City National High School. Mathematics literacy is a wide range of knowledge, understanding, and appreciation of what mathematics can accomplish rather than implying knowledge of various branches of mathematics or complex mathematics formulas. According to the Journal of Physics, Conference of Series, Mathematics Literacy is the ability to understand and apply basic knowledge of mathematics in everyday life, which means it entails comprehending and combining mathematical core concepts, terminologies, facts, and skills in response to the external situations requirement of the real world. According to Garof and Karukan uh, 2015, in his uh, study, why high school students feel mathematics difficult. It is an exploration of effective beliefs which states that 88% of students in a 51-person random sample dislike mathematics due to difficulty in understanding the subject matter and teacher or instructional related factors. Students from the Philippines are not exempted from this poor level of numerical competence. In fact, in 2018, the Program for International Student Assessment, or PISA, indicated that the Philippines placed second overall lowest in rank out of 79 participating na nations worldwide. This merely implies that the students' mathematics abilities are really poor in the Philippines. According to Machera, year 2017, interventions have benefits if administered properly, self-directing, cooperation, and teamwork among students comprise some of the benefits. This is one of the main reasons why it is necessary to intervene. It will not only enable students to build their own emotional self, but it will also help them to know that their teachers are involved. This only proves that it is of significant relevance to select an effective and efficient mathematical intervention. It was investigated that the teachers at Baguio City National High School use a variety of interventions to assist struggling students in mathematics. Uh, these interventions have been implemented, but their effectiveness is contingent on the circumstances of the learners. Uh, study, uh, the methods. Uh, this part of the research discusses that the research design, population, and local of the study data, gathering instruments, data gathering procedure and uh, treatment of data. So these are the uh, methods. Research design and methodology. Descriptive statistics was used in this research. It was utilized to identify the different interventions employed by the respondents to improve numeracy skills of grade 7 students and 16 to measure the intervention's effectiveness. This is done by using a frequency distribution table and a 4-point Likert scale. According to Acero and Torrio, 2006, the purpose of descriptive analysis is to determine the individual parts and units integrated into an internal system. 
it also determines the structure and composition that occurs as unit within the largest structure, which is very applicable in the study. Population and local of the study. There were 10 grade 7 mathematics teachers at Baguio City National High School. Since the number was manageable, the researchers decided to survey the population. Hence, no sampling technique was used in this research. Therefore, the respondents of the study were the 10 grade 7 mathematics teachers of Baguio City National High School. For the data gathering instrument, for the first problem, the researchers used a checklist to identify what intervention were employed by the grade 7 mathematics teachers at BCNHS to assist in the improvement of numeracy skills of the students. The checklist was given to the 10 grade 7 mathematics teachers of BCNHS and the instructions were also included in the checklist to guide the respondents in accomplishing the questionnaire. The checklist was based on the reports ac accomplished by the teachers every grading on the different interventions teachers employ at Baguio City National High School to help struggling students in the different learning areas. There were a total of nine interventions enumerated in the checklist, namely conference with parents and students, remedial class, one-on-one -on -one tutorial, home visitation, provide supplementary materials and activities, peer tutorial, we do activities with low scores, refer to guidance counselors, and lesson items are the activities. To address the second objective, a second data gathering instrument was used, namely four-point Likert scale. The respondents rated the intervention they employed according to the level of their effectiveness using a four-point Likert scale with descriptive equivalences of high effective, moderately effective, slightly effective, and not effective. effective rather. The descriptive ratings of each Descriptive equivalents are 4, 3, 2, and 1, respectively. Next is the data gathering procedure. The researchers ask permission from the school head to a written letter. After the request was approved and the letter signed that the researchers distributed the checklist to each of the 10 grade 7 mathematics teachers at Baguio City National High School to be answered. The respondents were told that the study was about the different intervention they use in aiding struggling students to improve their numeracy skills. They were assured confidentiality and they provided informed consent. The, course, uh, the respondents were then asked to recall all the intervention they used during the face-to-face -face classes as well as the virtual ones during this pandemic. Next, the treatment of data. In this part, presents how the data gathered are treated according to the intention of the research study. Moreover, this section discusses the statistical tools used in answering the research problems. 17 problems when focuses on the different intervention, grade 7 mathematics teachers at Baguio City National High School, used to help struggling students improve their numeracy skills. And this was statistically treated using a frequency distribution table since the purpose of this problem is to simply identify the intervention. For the second problem, a four-point Likert scale was used to rate the different intervention according to their effectiveness. As reflected, on the scores and grades of students after the said interventions was employed. And we have the result and discussion. The researchers analyzed and presented the interventions utilized by grade 7 mathematics teachers in Baguio City National High School. 
in order to determine the various intervention employed by the respondents. The study also aimed to determine the effectiveness of the various interventions implemented by the teachers in enhancing the numeracy skills of the students who are underperforming in mathematics. First, the interventions employed by the grade 7 teachers. The first problem addressed in this study was the various interventions utilized by grade 7 mathematics teachers to improve a student's numeracy skills. As uh, reflected in the graph of their study, most of the uh, respondents use more than one intervention in catering the needs of students to improve their numeracy skills. This means that teachers implemented interventions that were tailored to the needs of the uh, students. This also means that the teacher is ex exposed to students with a variety of learning requirements and challenges. This demonstrates that the different approaches were employed by teachers for different types of students. Next one, we have the interventions and their effectiveness. So the second problem with the study is determining the effectiveness of the teacher's intervention. So the researcher used Likert scale to evaluate the effectiveness of various techniques. As uh, reflected, the effectiveness of these interventions were based on the number of teachers who used a distinct intervention that they employed. It, will, it was also discovered that despite the fact that both interventions were used by an equal number of teachers, the effectiveness rates differed. Uh, for the conclusions, the Philippines' low-level numeracy skills as reflected in the result of PISA in the last two years prompted uh, teachers to employ different interventions to students who are performing poorly in mathematics. These interventions help in improving numeracy skills of the said uh, students. Among these, the most commonly used by the grade 7 mathematics teachers at Baguio City National High School is conference with parents and students. However, the most effective intervention is one-on-one -on -one tutorial. Teachers are continuing to employ these interventions to improve a students' numeracy skills. In the, fut in the future, the researchers hope that this research will lead to better understanding of teachers as to what interventions might be used to help students who are performing poorly in mathematics to improve their numeracy skills. If we cannot help our students overcome this uh, problem today, our whole country will suffer in different ways in the future. More in innovative interventions are needed to make a significant difference in the level of numeracy skills of students. That's all. Thank you.